Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with a new video from Grade 7 Science. Now we are discussing the Unit 7 Forms of Energy and Uses. We do various types of works in day to day life. Animals and machines also do work. Let's see some examples of such instances uh, for energy. Running a vehicle, lifting a weight, rotating a fan, running. In addition to those mentioned, people engage in different type of works in day to day life. It is clear that man as well as animal and machine do a lot of works. Now let us consider that it is needed for man as well as other objects to do work. People engage in different types of work in day to day life. So let's do this simple activity to observe that. Take a, you will need this thing, then take a, a rubber tube and stretch is it as much as possible. Then note down the maximum length that you uh, stretch the rubber tube. The maximum length of the stretch rubber trips was different uh, from uh, time to time. Can you imagine the reason for that? You can do this activity also. You will need these things. What you have to do there? Tie one end of the thread to the piece of stone. Tie the other end of the thread on the stand. Give the hanging stone pushed. Observe the motion of the stone for the long period of time. Can you tell the reason for the gradual decrease of motion of the stone? While doing those activities, you can conclude this as work can be simply ex explained as the push or pull result in a movement of an object. Work can be simply explained as a push or pull result in a movement of an object. Ability to do work is known as energy. International unit of measuring energy is Joule. We use capital J for right Joule. It is clear that work is done when the stretching of the strip rubber tube in those activities. Energy is necessary to perform work. To increase the amount of work done, the amount of energy applied should be increased. For example, you should supply more energy to move stone in above activities. Energy exists in different forms. Now let's consider the different forms that energy or ability to do work can exist. Let us pay our attention to do some different types of work done and different forms of energy used. Let's find out the different forms of energy used to do different types of work. You will need these things to do a small activity. Now we are going to identify various forms of energy. What you have to do is study a group shown given equipment in here. Identify the main forms of energy that made each equipment work. Identify other forms of energy created when the function in the equipment. Then By doing that practical, you can complete this table with three columns, equipment, when forms of energy that made the equipment, other forms of energy that created. Let's take an example, electric bulb, main form of energy is electricity, energy created are light energy and heat energy. Likewise, dry cells and some pieces of wires, electricity, heat energy and light energy. Likewise, you can complete this table. By doing those practicals, you can identify several forms of energy found in most instances. Most of them are used in various tasks. Let's see the main forms of energy uh, which we have identified. Kinetic energy, potential energy, electrical energy, sound energy, light energy, thermal or heat energy, chemical energy. Let's 
study further about some forms of energy which we have identified. Our first energy type is kinetic energy. In most instances, we see moving things. Wind, a moving vehicle, flow in water, moving pebble can be seen as the examples. Let's find out whether the moving objects have some sort of energy. You can do a small practical using these things. What do you have to do? Hold the turbine under an open water tap. Keep the ball on the table and send toy car towards it. Drop the piece of stone into the still water. Lead a discussion about your base observation. You may have observed that some work is done in each of above activities. You also say form where the energy was obtained for the work is done. Energy for above work is gained from the moving objects, examples, flowing water, moving stone. This activity reveals us that moving objects have energy. Energy that moving object contains is called kinetic energy. Electricity can be generated by kinetic energy of sea waves, grinding grains, pumping water and generating electricity can be done using kinetic energy of feed. Electricity is generated in hydropower station using kinetic energy. Let's discuss about the energy transformation. Conversation of one form of energy to another form of energy is called energy transformation. When work is done using different forms of energy, it is converted into another form of energy. Let us consider the generation of electricity by kinetic energy of wind. Here kinetic energy is converted to electrical energy by dynamo fixed on the windmill like kinetic energy to electrical energy. Next type is potential energy. Let us consider worm stream. We already know that it contains kinetic energy and it is can do work like turning a turbine. How did that water get energy for the following? Flowing. Does water in any place have the potential to flow? Always water in the higher position can be subjected to flow. Example, water in tank or reservoir at the highest elevation. It is clear that water at higher elevation contains energy and it has the ability to do in work. Let us consider a toy car operates by the winding spring. When a winding spring energy is stored and the shape of spring is also changed. The instrument operates using stored energy of the wound spring. Energy stored in an object because of the change of positions or change of the shape is known as potential energy. Now it is made clear to you that the energy stored in water reservoir at the higher elevation and the Wound spring is potential energy. When a spring is being unwound, potential energy stored in, in it is gradually converts into kinetic energy. Thus, unwound spring does not contain any potential energy. While doing this lesson, you can do a simple activity. While doing this lesson, you can do in this small activity. To make a toy car by using these things. Potential energy and kinetic energy are commonly known as mechanical energy. Next type is electrical energy. You can complete this table while using those instruments like appliance is small electric motor usages to play. Likewise you can complete this practical. Let's make a bell function by electricity by using these things. It's a simple activity. Let's meet with our next video in the second part of the same lesson. Thank you.